Okay, so can I do a quick mic and video check? Audio and video check. Am I audible? Am I visible? Yes, you are. Okay, so should I begin? Yes. All right. All right. So good evening, everyone, and welcome to today's joint meeting between Toastmasters Club of Pune Northwest and the Pimpri's Toastmaster Club. I am TM Nimisha, the sergeant at arms for today's meeting. I am an engineering student and I enjoy reading books, running, and I am passionate about robotics. So Toastmasters Club provides us a supportive and positive learning experience in which members are empowered to develop communication and leadership skills, resulting in greater self-confidence and personal growth. Let me explain some of the basic rules of this meeting. Those who are attending the meeting in the online mode, please rename themselves as in the following manner. First, their role and then their names. Please turn off your cell phones or set them on silent mode if you're not using it to join the call. And please mute your microphone unless instructed by the TMOD. Please keep your video on unless you have the issue with bandwidth. Microphone and video options are available in the bottom left corner of the Zoom window. Please do not share your screen unless it is instructed by the TMOD and kindly refrain from any movements that distract the speaker. In case you need to move, please turn off your video in advance. You can use the emojis, thumbs, thumbs up and claps to react throughout the meeting. For example, during transfer of control, in use on WOD and POD, emojis and thumbs ups are in the below panel. For role players and especially for speakers, it is advised to pin the timer window so that they can see the timer throughout the meeting. When you begin speaking, the correct protocol is that you have to greet in the following manner. Good morning or good evening or greetings of the day, uh, Madam President, Toastmaster of the day, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests. And the most important thing is to maintain a broad smile throughout the meeting. Now let us begin the round of introductions of our guests. So may I please request if there are guests in any offline mode to please come forward and introduce themselves. Do we have any guests in the offline mode? We don't have any offline mode. Okay, uh, let's move forward then. Do we have any guests in the online mode? All right, I don't see any guests. Okay, so there are no guests in the online mode as well. All right, then let us all well, then let's move forward. So now let me introduce you all to the Toastmaster of the day. Toastmaster of the day is someone who will be your host. So let me please welcome Toastmaster of the day, DTM Meenal Vaishnav who is working as manager and content strategist at Future Market Insights. She enjoys reading, cycling, playing the keyboard, composing poems, dance, and handicrafts. So please welcome Toastmaster of the Day, DTM Meenal Vaishnav. Over to you, Toastmaster of the Day. Firstly, those in the online mode, please confirm if I am visible. I am not going to be audible. That's why I'm asking whether I'm visible or not. Yes, you are visible. Okay, thank you. Chaha nahi mein se kala ke kehno me kutha jao. Chaha nahi mein peni mala ke binri ko dal jao. Chaha nahi mein samrato ke shabo pe dao kichlao. Chaha nahi mein भगवान के सिरों पे डाला जाओ मुझे तोड़ दे ना मन माली उस पर पर तुम देना फेंक मातृभूमि पर शीश चढ़ा है उस पर जाए वीर अनेक दिस वॉज द पोएम बाय आर बेटर पोएट माखनलाल चतुर्वेदी एंड दिस वॉज हाउ आई वॉन्ट इंट्रोड्यूस टू द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस फ्रीडम एंड दिस वॉज वे बैक इन फिफ्थ स्टैंडर्ड and at that time i was the one who had actually 
Trumpet Knight, Father Like Anything, that want to be actually do on 15th August and try to be celebrated as the Independence Day. And then my father explained to me that what it took to come to here, what was independence and how did those in the pre-independence era actually live their life. And at that time, I was fortunate that my, I could converse with my grandmother at that time. She was born in 1925. So I could actually have a deal with her that how did you feel prior to independence and after 1947? What was the difference? She told me, dear, there is only one difference, but that difference meant a lot to us. And that was that we could say Bharat Mata Ki Jai freely only after 1947. Before that, if we said that, we were imprisoned. Because my granny was also imprisoned for three years in the pre-independence era. And after that, when it came to 26 Jan, my father had compulsorily made me attend the, I mean, parade on television. Reason being, my grandfather was a big commander with the Indian Air Force. I mean, that was even prior to independence, I would say. So he, thank you, he actually joined the forces in 1939. And that too, it happened by accident that when the newspaper flashed the news, like we need youth to join the Second World War, England, because England was ruling almost the entire world, the entire eastern part of the world. And they had put in an ad that we need youth to join the forces. And it was at that time that my grandfather just plunged, plunged in. And that's why I would proudly say that he has witnessed all the major wars. The 1947 thing, partition thing and everything, he has witnessed it with his own eyes. Then in the 1961 Goa liberation. Then after that, the 1962 China war, 1965 Pakistan war. And he was also awarded the highest award that is the President's Gold Medal by our then President Dr. Rajendra Prasad, the first President of the Department And why my father was very much hell-bent on me watching this, because the because all of us have seen this and on 26th and when the parade happens, it concludes with the fly past. And my grandfather had led this fly past from 1961 to 1965. He expired in 1968. So for five years, he had led this fly past. And at that time, my father said that at the right age, you have asked me this question, what is independence? So, independence is something that we can do without seeking permission from anyone. Because in the pre-independence area, we had to seek permission even to breathe. That was actually the scenario. And after independence, do we really need to ask anyone, should I go there, should I go here or not? Not at all. Even, I would say that, what can be a better example of independence than even if we have this Hargar Niranga campaign? Has our PM made it compulsory? No. It's completely voluntary. Do it if you feel like doing If you don't feel like doing still it's okay. They are not going to term you as stage throwing if you don't do that. This is freedom. And along these lines, I would again like to just take a quick recap that we are completing 75 years of our independence. When we had our 25th anniversary of independence, that was in the year 1972, at that time we had achieved something. In fact, we had given Pakistan something back because we had witnessed partition in 1947. And in 1971, we separated Pakistan from Bangladesh. So they actually faced the same pain that we had faced in 1947. We actually gave them back. And these were the words uttered by our then Prime Minister, that is Indira Gandhi. She had said the same that we can do it and we have given them back. And she had especially uploaded Sam Manik Shaw for this. This was our silver jubilee. When it came to year 1997, that is our golden jubilee, at that time we were free in the world of globalization because global reforms had started in the year 1991. And in 97, at that time they had actually reached the peak because majority of the Indian fresh graduates, especially their engineers, were getting placed in the software companies. So that was the liber liberation that we had obtained at that time. And now when it's 75 years of independence, we can ask ourselves that where are we standing now? The basic advantage is we are no more termed as a third world country. 
people are looking upon india with a different piece of reverence now so this far have we come in the last 75 years so we have a very secure environment to give our give to our kids to our next generation that what our forefathers faced luckily you are not going to face this so face the world with open arms that is what we are going to tell them on this 15th of august so along these lines i would like to invite our presiding officer for today toastmaster rishikesh to take the kids call Toastmasters of the day, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests, the freedom that we are enjoying right now, it is not achieved very freely. Lot of freedom fighters, lot of warriors fought for it, and that's why we are able to see this freedom right now. The dream which was uh, saw by everyone is culminated, and right now we are enjoying the 75th year of our independence. after going or having a back uh, look back at the 75th year what are the key achievements of our india we are uh, we are self reliant in the green revolution now we are exporting wheat rice every on all crops we are sending or exporting to the all major nations in the world we have self reliant in the white revolution as well all dairy products are Uh, created or manufactured in India, and that those are import, uh, th those are exported. Again, we are self reliant in defence sector as well. We are setting uh, setting various satellites. In fact, we are helping other nations to launch their satellites in the aerospace. We are also enabling the IT. We are the biggest provider of the IT services in the world. We are the good nation. We are the topmost nation. We are which are providing the IT services throughout the world. We have come very far after we look back at the 1947. If we relate this to our Toastmaster or District 98, bifurcated on 1st July 2022, and this is the beginning of our new District 125. We are taking the baby steps, and we are the Toastmasters who are the future of our District 125. Let's take all the roles, or maybe participate in all the meetings, and we will hope, or maybe we can dream about the best district in all the postmaster district all over the world as District One Twenty Five. That's it from my side. Over to postmaster. You are the second officer, postmaster Rishikesh. Now let's establish a small analogy between today's meeting and our journey of 75 years. Now, when we came through this far, we had many people to support us. Support us internally as well as externally. Now let's talk about the internal uh, support first. We had our three defence forces: army, navy, air force. And let's not forget the BSF as well, the border security force, and the special forces as well. Now, if we equate it with the Army here, we always in the Nepal they always say army marches on stomach. I would say army at those masters marches on timing. So on this count, I would like to invite our timer for the day, those master Shitesh. Yeah. Before those master Shitesh extends his role as a timer, I would like to ask a question to him. Uh, Shitesh, can you hear us? Yeah, I can. I can okay. hear you. Yes, ma'am. My question to you is: When was was the first time in your life that you felt I'm free now? I can take my own decisions. You can answer. Ah, uh, sorry. Could you repeat the question, please? Do you want to repeat the question? Okay, I'll repeat the question. When was the first time in your life that you felt you are free to take your own decisions? Okay, so just give me a minute. okay so it was a time uh, i was in uh, first time i was uh, sent to hostel and uh, i was my i was on my own so 
it was um, i was very young at that time so i was in the ninth standard so i would say at that time i was uh taking some of the decisions that i am that my parents were taking before for me Now I will pass on yeah. to you to explain your role as the timer. Over to you. Yeah. Good evening, everyone. Uh, presiding toast, uh, presiding officer, toastmaster of the day, fellow toastmasters and guests. I am uh, sorry. I'm. I didn't introduce myself before. So I am toastmaster Shritesh, and as a timer, uh, I will time all the speakers, evaluators, and the table topics speakers. I will also alert each speaker. Uh, of the time they have left using green yellow and red card uh a similar to this and uh for the speakers uh i will raise the green card at 5 minutes yellow card at 6 minute and red card at 7 minutes for evaluator i will for evaluators i will raise green card at 2 minutes yellow card at 2 minutes 30 seconds and red card at 3 minutes and for the table topic speakers i will be raising green card at 1 minute yellow card at 1 minute 30 seconds and red card at 2 minutes and on top of that uh, 30 seconds uh, will be provided uh, so post that uh, any uh, speech uh, extent Uh, that will be disqualified. So this is my role. Over to you, Toastmaster. Okay. Thank you. I am Toastmaster Shri Desh. Now coming to the second panel, that is the R count. When we have the naval forces, who detects the subminutes? The warships are out there, and that is needed if you have the hawk's eye. Now here at in our meeting, the one person to keep a hawk's eye on our meeting would be the R counter, Toastmaster Kovil. I will be first to you first. Before we start with your explanation of the goal, let me ask you which is the song that comes to your mind at the dawn of fifteen August, the very first song. Sare jahan se achha Hindu sudarana maris. Great. Thank you, you, Mr. President, dear Modi, fellow Toastmasters, and dear guests. Good evening. Uh, as I told you before, explaining my role, I want to ask one question. How many of you want to enjoy this meeting? Please raise your hands. Okay, all of you, good. Now, uh, please raise your hands. Who are speaker, evaluator, and role player? Okay, good. So. You have already seen that uh, everyone wants to enjoy this meeting, right? S suppose if you use a, o, um, this, uh, these words, filler words, then uh, you know, I know, these uh, filler words are a, o, um, these filler sounds. What will happen? These are the stones in a delicious food, and no one can enjoy. So please avoid this. At least try to reduce this so that everyone can enjoy. So I will note down these filler words, then filler sounds, as well as the long pauses. Pauses are required, right? But this should be a pregnant pause or a small pause, which is necessary. So uh, I will keep track when Timuri asked me to come to present the report. At that time, I will come and present my report. Team, enjoy the meeting. Thank you. 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 Did we people win the war? Without that, it was not possible. So today we have someone to have an aerial aerial view on our meeting, and that is our grammarian, Toastmaster Rohan. Before you explain your role as a grammarian, 
I would like to ask you that what difference do you find by celebrating 15th August during your school days and now when your next generation is off? Difference is I miss uh, the parade what we used to attend in the school. Uh, then the national anthem which we used to attend, we used to salute the flags and nowadays we at 15th August we are getting at that 9 o'clock. So I am really missing those things. When I used to be in school, we used to wake up, we used to uh, iron our uniforms, uh, well dressed, uh, properly we used to go to our uh, schools. Then we used to celebrate uh, 15th August in various ways. We used to have speeches over there. So I am really missing those days and uh, I hope this 15th August will be a 75th uh, anniversary. So I will be waking up early and going for the time was too. Am I visible? Yes. <laughs> yeah, for, I'm asking to other people. So. So, good evening, uh, Toastmaster of the day, my fellow Toastmasters and guests. I am Rohan, a uh, grammarian for uh, joint chapter meeting of every uh, Toastmasters Club and uh, Toastmasters Club of Pune, Northwest. Uh, uh, introducing uh, word of the day and phrase of the day. Uh, please use it uh, in abundance. So, introducing word of the day, uh, immensity. Uh, meaning set free, uh, especially uh, especially legal, social, and political uh, restrictions. So, example, my father uh, told me he is happy to emancipate me, and she is emancipate woman. So, these are the two examples I would like to uh, present. And praise of the day. So easier, uh, easier talk than done. So uh, the meaning is uh, easily we talk about uh, then put into practice. So freedom fight, freedom fighters, uh, freedom fight is easier said than done. Is the one example which uh, comes to my mind. And second one is to bring up a child. Uh, bring up a child is easier said than done. So these are the two examples uh, for face of the day. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, the Marian Postmaster Rowan. Now comes the critical element. Are we anytime at peace when it comes to CHM glacier or the line of control? Yeah. Every time we have to be on the toes. And that's why we have someone who will be continuously on the toes regarding each and every minute of the meeting happening today. So hereby I call upon our general evaluator, Toastmaster Venkatesh. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. Now before you start, let me ask you, which is your favorite patriotic song? Favorite patriotic song. Favorite patriotic song is Janadana. Because that is national anthem and we are singing it. So I will say that with you. Okay. You can explain your role as a little bit. So today I'm glad to play a general evaluator's role and as a general evaluator. My role is to keep a close eye on the meeting. I will be observing proceeding of the meeting and I will come up with my evaluation in the end when called up. So I will be coming with my detailed report in the end. So over to you. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. Okay, that was all about the board place today. <clears throat> and afterwards, we have a surprise element and that. Let it be reserved for surprise because on every 15th August and 26th chat, our PM also announces a surprise. Every day. <laughs> so let's, let's keep that reserved. Now, let's start with our set program for the day. The very first section will be the prepared speech section. And therein, every member will be, I mean, members nominated over here will be attempting their 
projects from the pathways as and how they progress they will be going forward and as they as every speech is marked every speech is recorded that is from as a project because only after one milestone you can attend the second milestone that's why it is termed as a project now we have four speakers for the day who will be attending four respective projects of this the very first one is toastmaster dinesh and for that we have the evaluator as toastmaster shantanu i would like to request toastmaster shantanu to read out the objective of this speech the purpose of this project is for a member to introduce himself or herself to the club and learn basic structure of public speaking So I would like to welcome Toastmaster Din next to give his ice breaker. My report, Toastmaster Din next, Toastmaster Din next, my report. I ask you question after you speak. All the best. My report, a dream does not become reality through. A dream does not become reality through uh, uh, I will start with um, second student to our first of the day, fellow to our class of and esteemed guest. Good evening. So my parents' uh, desire as a child girl was top soil. Uh, when i was born i was born in 1986 i was born in a middle class family in the small village uh, my village name is dahiga so um, at is at the dahi means curd so if you want to successful in life uh, you come in my you come in uh, i welcome you in my village and eat uh, curd with sugar so i am damn sure that you will be success, successful in life like me <laughs> my father is a farmer mother is a homemaker uh, i have two elder brothers and uh, i have my spouse and four years old son so i enjoyed my childhood in uh, I, i enjoyed my childhood playing street games with friends i was a bright student i would like to share with one incident i was Seventeen years old, I had a, a severe um, stomach pain. I was crawling, rolling, and crying on the floor at my home. My father and both brothers were busy in the farm, uh, and so and uh, uh, my 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 mother took me in the hospital at Apollo Town, and uh, few tests had been done. my mother and doctor were shocked looking at the test reports it had been i had been suffering from the uh, appendix at my right hand side intestine and uh, uh, if the uh, it would if the it had not operated it it was at a severe level if it had not operated we would live to the day so my mother managed money from the uh, relatives and uh, uh, operation has been done successfully so uh, i take oath that day i firstly um, i was reborn i take oath i took oath that day i i would not supposed to bring a tears in my parents eyes so my Uh, financial situation was bad that time, and uh, engineering profit uh, to me engineering profession was uh, fascinating to me, and I I was uh, wondering that time by by hearing that the uh, engineering profession was the best ever in the career career in the life. So I I had managed my education and completed the diploma in mechanical engineering in the year of 2005. so i got the opportunity in tata to work in tata tata motors to campus interview and i worked there for two years but i had not give up i i had not give up because i want to complete my education 
so i so i have planned for education i earned money uh, on my own food i worked in tata motors for two years and i spent on those money on my education to complete the education so i have completed bachelor of mechanical engineering in the year 2010 and i have uh, also worked with faster hydraulics right limited tata motors limited and john deere india limited uh, i have total 13 years experience and i currently working with jcb india limited my my hobby is reading novels uh, from the childhood and uh, i been loved uh, trekking at fort when i came in the pune so uh, i feel that uh, i leverage uh, if i would leverage my career uh, my uh, professional career so i have to develop communication skill and leadership skills so my intention is to to join post master club i, I was uh, searching such platforms where i can develop my communication skill and leadership skills and it is immensely uh, uh, i feel that is required to uh, develop it and uh, uh, also and uh, thank you over you to master club of uh, 75 years of independence i am free with the good leadership skill and good com communication skill okay. now let's pause for a minute to write feedback for those master dinesh those in the offline mode can write it on the chat and those in the online mode can write it on the personal chat to those master mayo so he will pass it on to them in the break And may we not mention the name, who mentioned what? Just what feedbacks you have got that you can mention, that you can do. Uh, someone can note the timing here. After one minute, it's like this. At one side, you can divide into four so that you can give it to both people. Okay. Thanks, Prof. Uh, Master Mayu, for sitting up all the time. Now today we have our second speaker, that is Prof. Master Mani Gandhar. He would be attending this uh, level one project two from the path motivational strategies. The timings would be five to seven minutes. I would request the evaluator, Prof. Master Chandra Shekhar, to read out the. Uh, the purpose of this is that for the member to demonstrate uh, that he has obtained the feedback issues from his for her first day, and the member has already given the first day. So the purpose of this is that the member needs to apply those feedback in the second day. Thank you. Those master money can win. Anybody can win. Anybody can win. Those master money can. A winner is a dreamer who never gives up. This motivational quote told by a great Nelson Mandela. 
Mr. President, Toastmaster of the day, fellow Toastmasters and dear guest, good evening. I have born in a small village called Tevar. It is located in Tamil Nadu, South India. I have studied in a small school up to third standard. Later, my father put me in a big school. Up to fifth standard, I am not interested in any sports. Then, I have entered into the sixth standard. My school building changed from one to another. When I entered to the big building of my new school, my sixth standard, I was very admired and I was very stunned. I was surprised not only about the buildings. I have seen a lot of playgrounds in my school. There are hockey grounds, football grounds, volleyball grounds, tennis grounds. So in all these grounds tempted me to join the school's team, school sports team. So I have tried my best to enter and register into any one sport in my school team. Unfortunately, I not get a space in my school team due to a lot of competition. But I not give up. I have slowly started my own way. I have played a steep games, then I have played with my friends, and also I have started a chess game. So chess and carrot was my most favorite games in my childhood. Then later, my father shifted our house from one street to another house, another street. Also, in my school, sometimes they are conducting the chess tournaments between the schools. So that time I have come across it. One person, the name is John Christopher. He is an unbeatable winner in the chess game. So wherever tournament happens, wherever it conducted, conducted <coughs> John Christopher is the winner in the chess match. I was so surprised. Who is this guy? How he is winning every each and every time? So that time I was studying sixth, tenth standard. So one fine day. I went to the play cricket. So that time, fortunately, I have seen John also came to play the cricket. I was so happy. I introduced myself and slowly I asked to John, John, can we play chess with you? He immediately agreed. Yeah, yeah, why not money? We can play chess. Then I have started playing with chess with John. Still now, that fearless, it's never went from me because he's such a crucial player. He don't have mercy at all. So once I have started playing with chess with John, I get a headache because such a tough game he will play. So then I have started joining with him some chess tournaments. The result was no. Always John Christopher is the winner. I am very happy to hold his trophy and medals. So that was my happiness at the time. But I never think about, at least I want to beat John one time. But I keep on practicing with John. One day, we went to a tournament near to the city, next to village. So it was a five match tournament. So I also enrolled my name. So John also with me. So we started playing chess tournament. That day was, I think, my name. I won first two matches. The third match was fixed with the John Christopher. I know the result, but I started playing with the confidence. But the result was different. Luckily, John did a small mistake. I won that match. So then, the fourth match again I won. Fifth match I lost. Finally, I got a second prize. I won that tournament. So they called me for a prize. So that time, first time I listened to my ears, hundred of people clapped me for my achievement. I was so happy. I was so proud. I never imagined such a victory in my life even till now. Then, so that, that winning moment was very memorable in my life. So, in my school, I have rejected for all the sports. I'm not able to join in a single sports. But still, I, I get some confidence. I have started playing some different games. I have tried for NCC, I have tried for NSS, but because of the huge number of students, I not get a place for any sports or any NCC or NSS. 
But still, I can find out my own way. I have started playing with the others. I tried my best. So this particular one winning moment in my life, it given me and it made me very stronger and it gave me a very good confidence. Still now, if I go to any sports, this confidence gives me the more moral support to achieve anything. Dear friends, anyone have a will, everyone have a will to win, but very few have a will to prepare win. If you try your best and you are a dreamer, anybody can win. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Yes, I can hear you. I hope I am audible and visible. Yes. yes. You are not visible to me, but I guess you are visible to others. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> now, before you proceed, I will ask you a question here. That why did our Anglican Prime Minister start with Har Ghar Tiranga from 13th August to 15th August and not, he did not consider the date of 14th August. Why? Actually, on 14th August, Pakistan celebrates the Independence Day so definitely we will not follow that. So from 13 to 15, I'm celebrating and I hope everyone is celebrating. Thank you. Exactly. Kudos to you. That's for sure. Because on 14th August, Pakistan celebrates the independence day. So he ne never announces anything on 14th August. Mm -hmm. Even you might have seen uh, when he gives his speech, Rasha Kinam Sandesh, that he does after 7.30 p.m. Because at 7 p.m. Pakistan closes their celebrations. <laughs> that is the reason we end it. So let's get on to the third speaker. He will be uh, attending this level two project three from the Pathways Manual Effective Coaching. The timing should be five to seven minutes. And for that, I would like to ask his evaluator, Toastmaster Shino, to read out the objectives. Yes. yes. First of all, am I audible? Yes. 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 So Toastmaster Jay, uh, the purpose of Toastmaster Jay speech is uh, for the member to clearly define how Toastmasters envisions mentoring and also to share some aspect of previously experienced as a protege. So the duration is five to seven minutes. All the best Toastmaster Jay. Okay. As I said, the timing sequence is five to seven minutes. Now, Toastmaster Jay, a seat, a seat. 
Getting a mentor is the shortcut of success. How many of you believe in this? Okay. How many of you are having mentors in your club? Like Pimpri Club or Toastmaster Club or Pune Northwest? Oh, wow. Almost all. But the question is, have you succeed? Mr. Presiding Officer, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests, good evening to all of you. In 2019, my wife, my lovely wife, put a rosemary plant seed from a nearest nursery. We planted these new seeds in a pot. It was new, therefore, every day, two times she watered it. First time, even in my life, I got to know there are different types of manures. Organic like cow dung, horse dung, I don't know how many. Inorganic like urea and ammonium, sulfur, phosphorus. Seven. I bought the highest quality organic manure for new plants. Within few days, our plant was leafy, lush, green, and robust. We were mesmerized. Our plant had excellent blossom. But one night, there was heavy rain with gusty wind. We were desperate. Our friend, our plant was outside near 6 a.m rain stop. We run outside to see the fate of our plant. Our plant was not there. Port was empty. It was uprooted. We went to the nursery to buy another one. One surprise and a lesson learned was waiting for us. We found all all the nursery plant was untouched by that storm. We were surprised. How is it possible? We asked the nursery owner, despite our best care, why it happened to our plant? And I had seen you care little, but all your plants are strong and firm. How is it possible? His answer astonished us. He said, You gave everything what the plant needs in abundance. Since the plant do not need to do anything, thus your plant do not need to go deep and put efforts for its life. We supply a little water and a small quantity of manure. My plant has to put the efforts by own. They have no choice except to go down to fulfill their needs. That, that do or die struggle strengthen them. That's the reason. Despite this storm, they are stand strong. We came to our home with a new insights. Whatever words he said, that was still running in my mind. That day, that day I realized why DTM Vinod Sharma is like this. Actually, I joined Toastmaster International Community in Feb 2019. My mentor was DTM Vinod Sharma. I delivered my icebreaker speech in June 2019. My evaluator appreciated me. My confidence got boost. After that, I never bother to connect with him again. I know most of the members are doing the same. Am I right? Yes. But that's the mistake which I did. After completion of one year, I found there was no such improvements. Nothing. 
I was surprised. Then I decided to ask. I asked my mentor Vinu Sharma, why there is no any improvement in me? Why I have not improved? I asked him for the help. He said four points. First, work will be done by those who need it to be done, not by the people who are responsible. If Manti wants to improve, then Manti has to chase his mentor. Second, one mentor cannot answer all your questions. Follow the specialist. Third, everyone has different perspective. Always plan minimum two perspectives in your life. Fourth one, we can see where we want to reach. But where are we standing to know that we need a mirror that is mentor? Until today, I'm seeking his guidance. He never told me how to improve, but he told me why I have to improve or what I have to change. Finding answer is my question, not his responsibility. In one of the contests, I sent in the script for review. He said, check last three years contest. And what I found, my speech was monotonous. I changed it and I got the second division at area level. Yes. Second thing, finding specialist. In my Toastmaster, Vinod Sharma is my mentor. In my office, Rohit Purandre is my mentor. I always appreciate their efforts. Third, at home, in personal life, Oh, I don't need, my wife is enough for that. My friend, the last advice is the Kohinoor. I was fearless, I was confident, my goal was clear. But he introduced <coughs> me, myself to me. He showed me the true Jai, whose command on language was poor. So my friends, please follow your mentor. That's all, thank you. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thanks, Toastmaster Jay, for that rejuvenating speech. Let's pause for a minute to write feedback for Toastmaster Jay and those in the online world can make more use. Thanks, Toastmaster Mayu. Now we have our fourth speaker, Toastmaster Nilesh. Nilesh, can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can hear you. Am I audible and visible? <coughs> now, before we start with your speech, let me ask you a question. We all know that our second PM, that is Dal Bahadur Shastri, had come up with the slogan, Jai Java, Jai Kisan. What was the third thing added to that slogan? Okay. I think it was Jay Vigyan. Yes, it was Jay Vigyan. And the reason we had it was that uh, our then Prime Minister, that is Adar Bihari Vajpayee, he had started it on 28th of Feb, 1998, to commemorate Sir C. V. Raman as he was the first Indian scientist to win the Nobel Prize for his Raman effect in 1930 and that's why every year we celebrate 20th February as the National Science Day. That is in his memory. That is the thing. 
Now, our fourth speaker, that is Toastmaster Nilesh, will attempt his project number four from level number one from the manual visionary communication. The time slot will be five to seven minutes, and I would really appreciate the organizer here that can you see the similarity, Nilesh and Rishikesh? <laughs> so, I would ask the evaluator to read out the objectives of this speech. Yes. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. Toastmaster Nilesh is attempting a speech from Pathway Visionary Communication. The objective of his speech is to incorporate at least some of the feedback received from speech one and deliver the second speech. Timing is five to seven minutes and title of speech is Fake It Till You Make It. Toastmaster Nilesh, Fake It Till You Make It. Fake It Till You Make It, Toastmaster Nilesh, over to you. Make it till you make it. I'm sure most of us must have heard this term before. But I would like to know how many of us really feel that this is the true statement. Can I see some faces? Raise your hand if you feel that this is a true statement. Okay, let's let's have a demo on this. Okay, uh, I would like everyone to just smile, random smile. I know you all don't feel like smiling at me, but you can just smile with your, like, just to see each other. And now I would like to ask you, how do you feel about it? How did you feel about it? Like by smiling? You just smile, you know, like you don't feel like smiling, but just, as it was fake, but still, I'm quite sure that most of us felt good about it, right? The only reason is our subconscious mind doesn't know about it, whether it's fake or real. Subconscious mind feels that whatever we are doing in our life, that is true. That's why when we do something good, we feel good about it. Okay, presiding officer, fellow Toastmasters, Toastmaster of the day and dear guests. Today, we'll talk about fake it till you make it and how it is important for everybody. Okay, uh, I remember when I was in school, we said we ask me questions like for everybody and uh, for the students who were clever in class, they used to raise their hand. Not a studio student. But still, I was raising my hand in the crowd. You are about sure that if I raise my hand, she will not ask me the question. She will ask me. And exactly the same thing happened every time. She didn't ask me anything. What I was doing, I was just faking it. But eventually, as I was so much habitual with that habit, eventually I have started learning. And when there was a time when she used to ask questions, I was literally aware, literally aware about, about the answers because I started studying accordingly because I knew that I'm going to raise my hand anyhow. In Toastmasters, I know that when I started this journey, when it was my first day, my first speech, I was very nervous and my body language was like this. I was so much nervous at that time. But then now I'm standing in front of you and speaking. So body language plays vital role in this particular activity. What, like, it's not only about for humans, it's for animals and birds. When snake wants to bite someone, it will open their body like this. Even if that snake don't want to bite, it will still open the body. Why? It's a body language for everybody. We all know that whatever, you, that whatever we think we become, but what I truly feel that whatever we do in our personal life, in our professional life, we think accordingly. It's vice versa as well. I would like to give you an example. Where I currently work, I'm currently working, I wanted to apply for the job in one of the team. And uh, I, I talked to my manager. Basically, she moved to a particular department. I talked to her. I told her that I would like to be part of the team. She said, that, no, it is not possible for you now because right now we need you in this particular team. You cannot go there. I was like, okay. But 
started i started faking it i i used this formula when i was on floor i was roaming like i'm the part of the team i'm leading this team and i used to roam like that basically i was just faking it in my mind that i belong to you in just to you know 6 months down the line he came to me she offered me a role in that particular team within 6 months and i joined that team and same thing i was doing there whatever i was speaking earlier and now you all will say that how it is so what i can tell you is it's all about law of vibration i know that most of us know about law of attraction but nobody knows about law of vibration like most like most of us don't know about it so what exactly it is law of vibration works whatever we do what is vibration it's atom right we in our school we studied that everything is part of like small molecule small atoms everything is made up of atoms and that is nothing but vibrational energy so that's why the way we behave the, the way we talk it becomes like that our environment becomes like that and that's why make it to make it works at the end i would like to conclude my speech by beautiful dialogue of bollywood movie itni shiddat se maine tumhe paane ki koshish ki hai ki har zarre ne mujhe tumse milane ki saazish over to you toast master thank you thanks toast master nilesh now let's pause for a minute to write feedback for toast master nilesh those in the online mode can see you thanks mayur now before we move on to the next section as we are working on analogy is over here so you might be wondering that i did not establish an analogy between the four speakers and our journey here i will do it now now i will start from the toastmaster j i would uh, equate him with bhagat singh because he is always full of josh any day ask him to take any of the notes and you will never hear a word from him that's why i would uh, equate him with bhagat singh and i am dead sure that he is not going to mind if i do that <laughs> now coming to toastmaster nilesh i would equate him with patukeshwar dat reason be when bhagat singh and patukeshwar dat had thrown the bombs in the assembly and they were sentenced to death because of that but to be sure that needed just a small push then he said okay okay i'll come same is with our host master nilesh after i said that he needed a small push and his mentor chandrashekhar is always there to give him that push so he is but to be sure that regarding money i have already established analogy mangal pandey and regarding nilesh i would like to equate him with chandrashekhar azad i am free to give my speeches now <laughs> four speakers for the day now let me emancipate all of you from myself for a moment we have someone who will take us through impromptu speaking speaking of the cuff and if we establish an analogy with this i would equal that i have not yet uh, had a teacher meet with the debate topic master but i will equal him with subhash chandra bose what did he say to mujhe tum to mai tumhe azadi dunga and he is going to say tum yahan par aap itna topic ho So with this, I welcome our debate topic master, Toastmaster Lokesh. But, but by the way, you have taken one of my topics. <laughs> 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 
बट आई हैव प्रश्न नंबर वन थोड़ी देर गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन गुड इवनिंग वी मस्ट बी रेडी फॉर सच अनसर्टेन सिचुएशंस वेयर इन टॉपिक्स आर टेकन फ्रॉम यू एंड यू मस्ट बी हैविंग सम प्लान बी without any preparation and this is what we are going to learn in this session and this session is called as table table topic session and i am prashant master lokesh your table topic master for today in table topic i will be giving some topic to you and you have to speak on that topic for certain time after each topic we will have a voting uh, at the end we will have a voting where to qualify for the voting you have to speak for minimum 1 minute that means green card yellow will be at 1 and 1/2 minute red will go at 2 minutes and buzzer will sound at 2 and 1/2 minute if 2 and 1/2 minutes are done you will be disqualified from the voting so here i would like to call upon someone who has not taken any role and sees a toaster any toast master on the stage who would like to come first to take up this challenge yes please come if you are coming early your topic will be easy yes anish toast master anish toast master anish true independence for you true independence for you toast master anish Good morning, all. My topic is too independence for me. On this occasion of Independence Day, it's a very relevant topic. So, independence, I'm going to relate it with myself. How what true independence really means for me? It was some six to seven years back when I graduated from college, and after graduation, I had my job, and I was very happy. Yes, I got my job, but I did not know what it really means. But For me, in that sense, true independence meant financial independence. My job was my one way of getting my true independence. The way, in in a manner where I would be totally independent on myself. I would I wouldn't have to be dependent on my parents for money. I wouldn't have to be dependent on anyone else. I was away from home. I was staying alone with my friends. So in a way, I was truly really independent. I could do anything I want. There was no one to tell me. You should not do this. You should not do that. You should come home before so and so clock. You should not eat uh, such food that is junk. You should try to avoid uh, drinks. No such restrictions. For me, that meant independence. First thing was financial independence, and second thing was no in, was no restrictions. So that's what I call true independence. Thank you. And financial independence is easier said than done. Who else would like to come? Topic is still easy. Later on, these are going to be difficult. Anyone from online is also welcome. Any guest? Would you like to come? Topic is easy for you. You have to come. Very easy topic for you. Ishan Mam, what is this? What do you mean? I mean, it's good. So sad. What is it? Don't disturb us. So, in fifty Toastmasters, we have many engineers. We have mechanical engineers. I'm also mechanical engineer. Then again, I just said also mechanical engineer. No, but I'm engineer. Engineer. <laughs> then we have electronics engineer. Then we have automation engineer. We have data scientist also. They are they are not there as well now. But so what we have in PTMC, we have the time machine. Time travel machine. In that time machine, you can set the year, but that is the limitation is 1947 or before, and you can set the character also, any character, but before the 1947. I would like to be told. Yes. So this this is a time machine where you can set the time before 1947 and the character. So your topic is time travel. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. 
my name is Vishal Malik and today I am going to speak on the topic a character before 1937. Yes. So a character just before 1937 as Virakas. Well, I'll start off with the ancient king of India. His name was King Ashoka. If I was King Ashoka, I would of course be the ruler of whole India, which includes Sri Lanka, parts of Bangladesh, Pakistan, and a little up Middle Asia. Middle Asia. Um, it would be the I would feel very accomplished every night going to bed, knowing that so many people respect me, I am part of, I am going down in history as one of the greatest kings to have ever lived. I feel proud. That is Thank you. Who else would like to talk? Topics are still simple. Mm -hmm. Yes. So Mahatma Gandhi gave a uh, uh, slogan, do or die. So topic for you, do or die situation in your life. What is the name? Social Master Mayu. Social Master Mayu, do or die situation in your life. Do or die situation in your life. Social Master Mayu, accept your marriage. <laughs> <laughs> To be honest, I don't believe uh, there is a situation to hold that right? because there, as we are very smart, you know, kind of middle map, middle path. Either any, any any situation we try to, there might be a situation, but it's not. It's up to us that what limit we can go at. Because if we start going into that situation, either to hold that, of course, in the if you are like, if there is a match between India and Pakistan. If we call, whenever, like, we most of the time call it as a, as a too old and match. But it's like, players do really think that it is a too old and match. It's a just a sing, sing, uh, single match. And what it's going to change. So, like, they try to play their best game. And they, whatever they have abilities, they try to play with that skill set and at the end they accept the result without hampering any kind of, like they believe this in the spirit of the game so similarly whenever there will be any kind of challenges we should we have to believe on ourselves there will not be a true or false that kind of or do or die kind of situation we have to believe on ourselves and follow the what our instincts are we should not in uh, like in that situation, we should not say that like we should not take any long stay. Uh, just like back in uh, 2003, when Australia, there was only intention do or die. They were not following any kind of protocols. They were doing everything to just win the game. They were only result oriented. But what is the future now? Like, do we think Australia is the winning now? Winning one of the winning team or any kind of thing. So I believe that we should have to become process oriented rather than being result oriented, and we have to keep uh, doing the thing which we have to. That's all from my side. Anyone can we have two more or not two more? Yes. So I need yes. I need one more person. I like uh, or. Can we have a single? Then we will take two. Simple topic. Okay. Again, I would like to quote 
uh, those process are finished. The quote from V.R. Ambedkar is freedom of mind is the real freedom. Freedom of mind is the real freedom, which must have been Simple. So, copy is given by uh, every topic must have. It's freedom of mind. Freedom of mind. Uh, every human being have their thoughts and their thought process and make the choices of their decisions. Our thought process should be uh, benefited, must be benefited to the human being survival. Also, if also if um, and And also, you, every human being have their uh, they are open and uh, free minded to do their uh, choices in the life. It would take uh, some time to have um, to make their make their outcomes uh, after doing certain things in life. And uh, as the uh, today's theme, 75 years of independence, uh, it makes us to uh, make the, our thought, our thoughts and thinking process independent and uh, bring a life with the very uh, good choices. Thank you. What do you I need to yes, please come. Two. You will the two members. Two members. You can also yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. discussion guide. Yeah. The timing will be green at two, yellow at three, and red will be four and buzzer at five. So we will uh, come at twenty. As everyone might be aware, by freedom fight, there were two factions within the freedom fighters. One called them Naramdar and another called them Garamdar. Naramdar, like moderate people, like Mahatma Gandhi, Jawaharlal Nehru, and who are looking up very similar way, like it was suggested by Kosh Master Nehru. No divide situation, middle path. Another uh, action was Garamdar, very aggressive, like it was led by Lala Vatpatra and members were like Chandrasekhar Raja, Sardar Bhagasi. So we have members from both the factions. Which one you would like to take? Narantha or Garantha? Yes. Narantha. Garantha. And you are from Narantha. Narantha means you know, moderate one, and this is aggressive one. So just you are discussing the strategy to, for the freedom. So time starts now. Narantha or Garantha? Our strategy for uh, first of all, good evening, everybody. So, the topic is tough, uh, but we will try to resolve this. There is no end for this, I think. There will always be a difference of opinion, but uh, let me put my thoughts for it and uh, be as many as people as I can. So, uh, I always think for Garamdal, I think that we should always be aggressive. <coughs> against the Britishers because they are not letting us uh, freedom to be free. They are uh, doing atrocities, they are troubling our people, so uh, we should uh, answer them with, with a tough, uh, tough things. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, India is still a new country as a whole. And it's not only we need to kick the British out, but we need to unify ourselves. Even as we cross the boundaries, we talk about north, south, east, west. Everybody speaks different language. So it's not only kicking British out, it is also about building a country from within. And this is where I think we have a larger task. 
In fact, it can give credit to British that it was not so well universed. Uh, Ashoka was ruling worldwide. What will happen in the case where you kick the British out? All the problems that we had from before will continue with the them. And that's where we need to have a moderate approach to take everybody's consensus into account and build a new country. I totally disagree with you because prior to British, we also had our country. There were rulers who ruled our country efficiently, kept our country united, Chandragupta Maurya. So we had expanded the, our country so many, uh, so far, to Afghanistan, <coughs> I think so. So in fact, my geography is uh, not that good, but I can remember we were up to Afghanistan and we were totally united. And Chandrapati Shivaji Maharaj also, we all were united. Everything was going well. Nothing was going bad at that point of time also. So it might be should give credit to. You look into the great empires of the world. You can see a particular rule has to last for several centuries. It's not like 10 years or one generation. You have to have some of the rules like Venice, it was ruled for 800 years. Britain is currently under 1000 year old. So if you look at the moment period, even Marathas went to Atka in Pakistan. So that does not mean we had empire up to there for a long period. So coming back, we still say British did divide and conquer. And you can still see even today that people are still fighting for some of the basic things that we blame British for. So we have kicked out the British, but some element of divide and conquer is still we are carrying. And hence I feel bringing everybody together is a really important aspect of building a nation. But that should come within us. Britishers are not going to come and tell us we have to be united. Why we can't realize those things that we have to be united at this, at this time? That is exactly. We have not learned anything from our history. History is there to learn. And we are doing the same mistake now also. So, the Lagan Dalu is more interested in keeping British out. Their focus is not to build the country. If you take Gandhiji, he did take, he is the first guy, I believe, personally, was respected in South as well as in North. This is my house. I should decide how I should run my house. Third person should not come and tell me that how I should run my house and I should take his life. I should be self reliant I should, should whatever good bad is done, it should be the decision should be mine, not a third people's decision. It should not come here. So if you look, this is my view. In the entire history of India, even during Shivaji period, we had Muslims came and they collected their tax, and Marathas came and they collected their tax. The borders kept on changing during the right. entire period. The difference of between collecting the tax. There was certain times so, which were coming back. My point there. was, people were still suffering. Tax should be there. People were the suffering. Uh, people were suffering, and hence you need to have a steady government, and that's where you need to have unification of the government. How much should the people suffer? Okay. Is there anything? I don't think. Yeah. All right. Thank you. And uh, that's why we came to know why Jalandar Jalandar were there and both were relevant. So I was back to uh, know your name. Yes. No man. Toshmaster Roman. And yes, I'm yes. Okay. Anyone else would like to come? Can we have one more? Union? Yes, sir. Would you like to come? Mm -hmm. Only very simple topic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is your name? Sorry? Nidesh. You can take it out. <laughs> yes, Nidesh. How do you celebrate 15th August? How do you celebrate 15th August? Yes, Nidesh. My topic is how do you celebrate 15th August? I celebrate cutting cake with my father and mother, and my father gives my me a gift. I play with it and and we celebrate it. Thank you.
Thank you. Then we have some more topics or? We can go. Yeah. Okay. So first, uh, Anish. Uh, so we will have the voting. So let me write down the emails of all the members. So first one we have the uh, first master and the first speaker. If it would be great if you could raise your hand so I can recognize you. Then uh, guest Ishan. Then we have a post master Then uh, we have a uh, post master Dinesh. Then we have a post master Mohari. And we have guest Abhinas. And then uh, we have a uh, uh, guest Manish. Nitesh. 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 So, would like to have a final report? Yes. Our qualified for the debate. The debate went with non and So, can we have a voting now? Can we have a voting now? Uh, but we haven't created once. Voting level at the end. Okay. okay. So, now this is all about the uh, table topic session. I hope that you have enjoyed. Now back to you, Postmaster of that. Any questions for me? I want to ask questions. It's a different topic for me. Thank you, Terror Topic Master, Terror Road Master. Okay. And this was actually Terry on the IC of the entire meeting, I guess. And everyone was feeling energetic, I guess, even to listen to the what, what others, others were saying, and that is the beauty of paper topics. And that's and why, that's why even now, even now I, I, I like using the radio instead of the playlist. Because we get it also with the next one to be played. And that's the presence of rice for us. Now, before we take a short break, put the time of please confirm if among the prepared speakers and prepared speech speakers, if all were volume. We can have the voting data, but let's have the time of the Yes. Uh, yeah. Hello, everyone. Uh, so, in the prepared speeches, uh, TM Nilesh P. Uh, Baljim uh, has taken four minutes, 50 seconds, 56 seconds. So, he is not qualified. And apart from this, all three speakers are qualified. Okay. Okay. So, that's the voting this is because the timing was Now let's have a quick break for five minutes. What's the exact time right now? 6.35. 6.35. We'll be as well as 6.40 to have the next session.
between hosting the client. That's why we leveraged the flag on fifteen dollars. Whereas on twenty six Jan we were already free. We were celebrating a republic. So the flag was already up there. We were just unfurling it. It was folded. We were unfolding it. That is the basic difference. So we should not be saying on twenty six Jan that we are hosting the flag. We are unfurling the flag on twenty six Jan. We are hosting it on fifteen dollars. So that is actually the tip for this meeting uh, here. Now coming to the round of evaluations. Now everything we have been doing, but all the opposition party always keeps on hammering. This was wrong, that was wrong. We should have done this. Even the best of the governments have always been led by, I mean, hammered by opposition. I, I would say. Unfortunately, that didn't happen during Nehru's rule because there was no opposition. Only two people used to get elected from Jansan. One was Atal Bihari Vajpayee, and another was uh, Shamji Krishnavar. Only both of them. So there was no opposition, and that was the reason that Jawaharlal Nehru nominated himself as the Bharat Ratna during his tenure as a prime minister. That was the biggest joke in Indian history, actually. That actually happened. But if you observe closely now, during I mean, with the passage of time, only the deserving people are getting these Padma Awards and the Bharat Ratna. And certain people who are literally from that strata of the society which we don't even know about, we have just heard about them. And then we, when get to know about them, we really feel proud that yes, these people actually deserve these awards. So that is the difference, and that is the importance of opposition. And here, I would equate this opposition with the evaluators here. Naram dal and garam dal. So these are the garam dal extremists because they are going to say that. Now, for evaluating our icebreaker speech today by Postmaster Dinesh, we have our weekly education, Postmaster Shantanu. I would like to call you upon on the stage. And ask or will say something after your evaluation is done. We'll proceed. <laughs> okay, Postmaster Dinesh. Uh, first of all, congratulations on your icebreaker speech. It was really amazing speech. Uh, I love the speech. Uh, so at the beginning, we fumbled a little bit. So I was a bit afraid, but I think you just gathered yourself and you have started delivering the speech. So you explained about how you come from a smaller village called Dahigao, and it is famous for the curd and. Uh, you talked about all your upbringing, then a challenge in your life at the age of 17, when you had to undergo, when the appendicitis was detected and you had to undergo the surgery, uh, and how your mother uh, gathered the money for your surgery because, because of the situation. So that, that was a really inspiring story. And the interesting part is how you completed your diploma in engineering, uh, then you got it placement in the Tata Motors and again uh, you got into the uh, you completed the B, you completed the graduation so that was really the amazing journey now we have got a 13 plus years of experience so I really love this story I think I could uh, I'm sure everyone could connect with your story and uh, you are facing the audience uh, you were looking right into the eyes of people, so that's that's really great for an icebreaker speech. Uh, then your vocal clarity was really good. I, I could hear or hear and interpret all the words properly. Then you haven't used any gestures, but uh, that's fine because it was icebreaker speech. It was, it was your first speech in the club, and uh, from the start to end, uh, the interest was developed in, in this speech because everyone could connect with that speech. Everyone uh, has their own journey of life and your, your journey was definitely a really inspiring one. So I really like the speech and I would like to uh, hear more from you. So, so no recommendations from me because this was our entire speech. <laughs> Oh, 
again, I don't have any question as well. I would just like to equal his uh, portfolio now with someone. During the independence, he was known as Anadimi, Anandami, Avadhyami. Can you imagine who? Can you get? That was Avadhyami. And the equity comes from this. That if you go by the wording, Anadimi, Anandami, then we started. I and mean, when we planned to have a joint meeting, he was the only person on the dozer. Literally asking each and every one, do something, because I, I want to present something. And that was the same case with Vil Savarkar. We all know that he was sentenced to Kalapani, but he had the courage to swim through the backwaters of France. Had French people not betrayed us at that time, because the French police handed him over again to the British. Had they not done that, Savarkar would have been back to India much before. So, I would equate him with Savarkar and I guess all the odds he is there to fight. That is what. I hope you take that in the positive <laughs> Now, our second speaker, that is Toastmaster Mani, would be when this speech would be evaluated by our very own Toastmaster Chandrasekhar. Even regarding him, I will talk after he's done with his evaluation. Thank you so much, DTM Toastmaster Nihal. I am so much thankful that I will be evaluating Toastmaster Mani Kandra's speech or what we like to address today as Mangal Pandey of the TMCP club also and the Pimpri club also. So first I would like to congratulate him on achieving all the objectives that were given in the speech as the objective suggests. It was a really great speech and let me talk about the things that I really liked in his speech. So the first thing that I really liked in his speech were the stories. Can you believe someone going through some tough phases in school life, not able to play any of the games and still not giving up and continuing the journey about playing the game which were more specifically the chess. And the stories that I really liked was the first one where he talked about meeting the man, the myth, the legend, John Christopher, who was like someone who you would look up to. That this is the person I want to become, this is the person I want to be. And eventually meeting him in the end. The second thing that I really liked about his speech was the great usage of voice. As the part suggests, it was a motivational strategy and all of us could see the energy that he was carrying throughout the speech while he was talking about each and every story, each and every aspect of it. So that is something that I really like about it. And the third thing that I liked about his speech was the great opening quote by Nelson Mandela. And that was something totally hooked us in the starting. Now coming to how we can make the speech better or what sort of things that I felt like we can improve on. And let me just go ahead without sugar putting. So the first thing that I felt like was the body language in the starting. You were just having one hand at the front and the one hand at the back. I was not able to understand what this gesture suggests. Most of the time you were having your hand open but I would recommend that having your full body language and using the stage to place because you were in the perimeter of just one to two feet, so maybe you could move at this time. Saying, I want the first man, I want the second man, and the third man was again John Christopher. Can you believe? So, this you could have done to improve the stage. Second thing that I believe you could have done was using both end of the voice modulation. I felt like you were just using the upper end where you are having high pitch, high sound, but sometimes you can use the lower voice also. There is good include like, and the third man was again John Christopher. I was scared. This was the person that I couldn't beat. And he was champion. But eventually, just because of one mistake, I was able to beat him. And I won the fourth man. So sometimes lowering your voice can have more impact than increasing your voice. And the last thing that I would like to give you as a challenge was, I felt like the conclusion was so strong, but it could have been better if you could relate it with your own story. You would have simply said that. I have forgot, uh, I have failed many times. I was I have failed in school. I have failed in so many times while playing chess also. But I did not give up. Uh, champions are those who are not like have will to win, but have will to prepare. Are you guys having that will? If you could have concluded that in the conclusion, it would have been really good. But overall, the speech was really fantastic. Talking in a nutshell, you are really good at telling the stories and having great energy throughout the speech. If you can work on some small aspect of using the whole stage perimeter and putting your efforts on using both the ends of voice modulation, 
along with the great confusion, you can take your speech to the next level. That's it from my side and back to the question. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. First of all, am I audible and visible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. So I'll start. So first of all, what a wonderful speech of connecting your nursery experience with the mentoring experience that Toastmasters has delivered for you in your journey. Uh, I will uh, cut. The, uh, I will directly get to the chase. The following parameters for the speech were fulfilled. and they were excellent clarity then voice uh, vocal variety and as well as a good eye contact the excellent use uh, and the highlights of your speech were excellent use of hand gestures and along with a perfect body language and most of all one of the most important thing that many of the speakers uh, often miss in their speeches when they take roles of different characters in their speech is that when they uh, they do not utilize different positions in the stage uh, when they take the different uh, roles of the characters in the speech but you didn't make this mistake you use the stage for the different roles of the characters in your speech also there was voice modulation in your speech for the different characters according to their situations which was excellent also your experiences with your mentor were thoughtfully put in an with the element of humor i must say which was attention grabbing for the audience as well as a relatable one also there were three points of advice that your mentor gave it to you which were clearly mentioned and which would be helpful for uh, the audience and other toastmasters so as toastmaster jay is a excellent speaker i anticipated it would be difficult for me to evaluate him and which i must say it, it has been still there are some recommendations for his speech which will take it even to the next level so a little punch in the start would have been uh, excellent as it would be more impactful in the beginning then it uh, it it would have been more helpful for uh, uh, audience about how did you apply the advices the three points that your mentor gave to you into your toastmaster journey and uh, it uh, or uh, because it may seem to the audience it may not seem to the audience that it is easier said than done so as i must say to wrap it up having the uh, to wrap it up having the same comfort uh, you should have, for the next speech you should have the same comfort level as you delivered in this speech and a challenge for you for the next speech you can either make use of a prop or you can incorporate the word of the day and the phrase of the day from the grammary and into your speech at the end moment overall to sum it up you clearly passed the purpose of your speech project and that too with ease in gestures and storytelling and as always keep my smiling everyone as toastmaster jay is thank you Thank you, Toastmaster Shiva. Now it's the time for analogy. Now all of us know that in the year 1897, Pune had suffered from an outbreak of plague, and at that time the officer in charge was Mr. Brand. 
and because everything was a mess and Pune suffered maximum casualties at that time, the, in that period. And to condemn that, two people had shot him at, on the university road, actually. And so some people have also developed memes from that that uh, his ghost is still uh, there, his spirit still moves there. Now it's up to you to believe it or not. Up to so that had happened. And these two people were <coughs> Safega brothers. If you really want to have a feel of it, not very far from here, and once you enter the Chichwadga area, you have to start with a job. There their statues are being erected. I mean, they have already been erected. You can have a look at them. So I would like to turn Postmaster Shimon as <coughs> one suffaker and the next graduator, that is Postmaster Rishikesh as the second suffaker. Recently, Jay and Dinesh are excellent speakers. So it's actually difficult to find out faults in what they speak. And if someone is daring to do that, it's as good as shooting Randall. And that's why they are the two suffaker brothers. So I would like to call upon our fourth evaluator, Rishikesh. <coughs> Take care of your thoughts because your thoughts leads to action. Take care of your actions because your actions leads to habit. Take care of your habits because your habit leads to your character. Fake it till you make it. Toastmaster Nilesh evidently shows us that if you want to achieve your dream, Try to do that activity or try to dream about that activity at the as a physical level. Slowly and steadily, your subconscious mind, as it's not knowing whether it's true or it's unreal, it will adopt it and you will reach to your dream one or another day. Those must be next you have clearly indicated that if you want to achieve a dream, first we will have to dream about it at two. So do some activities about it and eventually you will achieve your dream. You also mentioned that about all part of communication, the more or the more space is given to the non-verbal communication. You may be speaking a good words, but it may not impress the audience. But if your normal non-verbal communication are strong, it will clear, it will indicate a direct message to the all the audience. All this message is kept clearly indicated from your speech. You are confident on the during the speech delivery and you the stage uh, movement during the speech was also there. Now, what can lead you to a better speaker? As you were attending the meeting on the online, maybe from next time you can take care of the network issue. And I feel that camera angle that you choose was the uh, uh, landscape mode. You can use the quoted mode so that you will be visible throughout the audience. Also, I feel that uh, maybe your speech was little less on the word length. Maybe you can uh, take a uh, note of your space of the speech and identify what are the minimum word length you will require to reach a speech of the five minutes. Then I feel your speech was very much apt. You meet the objective of the speech. Just you need to work on some of the aspects like camera when you are attending the online meetings. I think this is not a challenge for the physical meeting. Just need uh, identify the word limit of your speech and the pace you need to uh, uh, achieve that uh, time length, and it will make you a uh, next uh, your next speech a wonderful one. That's it from my side. Over to Toastmaster. Thank you, all the four evaluators. Now, before we get on to the other aspect of evaluation, let's get the timers report. If all the evaluators are qualified. Yes, Timuri. Uh, so all the evaluators have uh, completed their evaluation on time. So all are uh, qualified. Okay, thank you. Now let's get on to the other aspects of evaluation. So here is not only the speakers, but all the other goals are also evaluated on the basis of their tone and the vocabulary. On that count, let me call upon our Akamda for the day, Toastmaster Gobind for this day. Thank you, Jimmy. Uh, 
it's a detailed report. You can come to me after this because a detailed report cannot be read here. Uh, before that, I have to ask the same questions. How many of you enjoy this meeting? Please raise your hands. Okay, good. All right. So, uh, why? Because in this meeting, we have more than four flawless speakers. More than four. First flawless speaker is uh, Toastmaster Jesse, then uh, Sa Tien Nimisha, Evaluator Chandrasekhar. These are the three. Both one I will ask later on. Now, I will read out the detailed report. Okay. Then uh, uh, presiding officer Rishikesh, our four friends, repeated word, we, uh, we are, these are repeated word, Tamil, Shitesh, our four times, long pause one, grammarian, our five plus times, so three times, then uh, generally married, Venkatesh, so two times, Lokesh, democratic master, so two times, our two times, then a speaker, Dinesh, uh, five plus times, long pause two, and repeated word, and uh, and his evaluator uh, Shantanu, uh, five plus times, so one times, then uh, Mani is a flawless speaker, and his uh, evaluator Chandrasekhar, and uh, two times, then J uh, Jason is a flawless speaker, then Shivam, two times, uh, sorry, four times, uh, then Toastmaster uh, Milesh. Okay, okay, this is two times. Then how to do we? This is repeated two times. And his evaluator, Rishikesh, uh, are five plus times. When in our PTNC meeting, I generally observe, keenly observe, Toastmaster Manunaya, KP, and Toastmaster uh, KP, these two. And I found these are the flawless of every times. I can you watch them. In the same way, I observe and watch DTM Miller. And I found that there is absolutely no R1. We really enjoy it. So, DTM Miller. So, that's all from my side. Old DTM Miller. Thank you. The job of a language evaluator that grammarian is easier said than done. So, I would like to call upon the grammarian for the report, the language evaluator. Good evening, once again. Uh, so, I will mean, I'm the role of grammarian is to find the good uh, language used and poor languages, uh, English language used uh, during uh, delivering the speech. So, good uh, language which I found was uh, a phrase, open arms, which means with affection and enthusiasm. You welcome everything with affection and enthusiasm. Baby steps means first stage in long or challenging process. Uh, first step towards uh, doing anything which is uh, which has a long journey so it's a baby step then mesmerizing uh, is fascinating do or die in a situation in which you need to take a risk in order to avoid a failure so that was a good phrase uh, used then astonishing it's very surprising some of uh, poor languages used during the speeches uh, saw dream so I dreamt about something. That's how it should be. Uh, severe level, it should be critical stage. Then have not given up, it should be did not give up. Lot of ground, uh, it should be big ground. <coughs> still now, it should be till now. Clock, at what time I should come, so that is the Then word of the day and phrase of the day was used uh, Three times, TM uh, Minan used it uh, in the word emancipate, and one time phrase he used. A phrase was used again by TM Lokesh. So that's all from my end. Uh, 
Now I need to call the leader of the opposition here. But obviously, I won't, I won't equate you with Rahul Gandhi or Sonia Gandhi. Definitely not. I would like to equate you with someone like Atal Bihari Vajpayee, who had continuously been felicitated as the best leader of opposition during this tenure. So, I would like to call upon Dostmaster Vengadish for his report as a general director. So, we had a great meeting today, and I found that all the members, all the role players, have brought such an energy in the meeting. To be frank, it is very difficult even to make some of the recommendation for the role player. But still, let's start with the sergeant at arm. Although the sergeant at arm was playing her role on land, Toastmaster Vinisha. She stated the mission of the club. She explained the rules of the meeting very well. She also introduced the guest, which is on the online. She tried to call whether somebody is there in the offline meeting, offline mode. So kudos to her. She has played a very well role. This was a recommendation for Sergeant Eta, that is the meeting information. I believe the meeting information has been written by some of the people who are present here on the meeting uh, room on the board. So that could have at least, you know, Sergeant Eta would have said that, you know, somebody is helping me for writing those things on the board, the particular meeting room. Secondly, the members who are coming in and out of the room to take care of that, somebody please help me from the meeting room. That could have announced. So just to avoid that, you know, somebody is not helping or playing that role in the physical meeting room. So only those two recommendations I have to Sergeant Eta. Moving on to the uh, Toastmaster of the Day. Toastmaster of the Day, distinguished Toastmaster Vinod. Great show, I would say. Lot of energy you brought into the meeting. And to be frank, the theme which you have chosen, which is much more relevant, we are just celebrating our 75th Independence Day, Azadi Ka Hirat Motso. So I will use that Hindi, but yes, with all permission, I would say this is the right theme you have brought to the meeting. And the energy which you have shown throughout the meeting was very high. So kudos to you on that. And the session was very interactive rather than just walking through the theme and explaining something. Sometimes it is a bit difficult when you make it interactive, when you ask some of the questions to the member. Overall session becomes more interactive, people get engaged and we all can enjoy the meeting. So kudos to you, distinguished Toastmaster Meenal. Moving on to the timer, I do not have any recommendation to timer. Timer has played his role very well. Explain your role. Explain how you are going to show the timing card also to the timer. Toastmaster <coughs> Mayur in the physical meeting room, you have helped all the role players. You know, you have played that role, that's a real role. And you time each speaker and a role player in a correct manner. So kudos to you. Moving on to the R counter. You have mentioned all the flawless speaker in the beginning. Kudos to you. Because we all waiting for the who is the flawless speaker and when you announce that flawless speaker in the beginning, but however, you kept one speaker, I will announce in the evening, in the end of your, uh, uh, you know, evaluation, that has created some curiosity within the role players. Who is that? Who is that? Among all role players. So kudos to you. And you properly uh, mention all the uh, filler words, filler sounds, used by all the role players. So kudos to you on that. Now moving on to the presiding officer, Toastmaster Rishikesh. You explained how far we have come from our independence, that is completing our 75 years of independence, how India has evolved as a country, how people are looking at us. And with this, with that analogy, we set an analogy how district 125 has been formed from a district 98 and you encourage all the members to participate in district 125 event and nominating themselves for some of the leadership roles from district 125. So kudos to you for your presiding officer's address. 
Now moving on to the grammarian, uh, Toastmaster Rohan. So you have chosen a very relevant word of the day and phrase of the day, which is very much relevant to the team set by Toastmaster, distinguished Toastmaster leader. You have tried to explain those word of the day and phrase of the day by using some of by using it in some of the sentences and its meaning. However, I have certain recommendations. Although you are playing that role first time, you could have taken your notes. Somehow it was little difficult, and I found that you are unable to pronounce that word of the day. So just to avoid that, uh, initially in the beginning, I suggest that you can carry your notes if you have some notes. Also, you can use the uh, board here where you can write word of the day and its meaning, phrase of the day its meaning, so that everyone can use that. So that is one thing. And secondly, I have a recommendation where you have not given a chance to audience to use that word of the day and phrase of the day. So you could have called voluntarily some of the members to come forward to use this word of the day and phrase of the day. So with that, but overall you have played a great role as a grammarian. Only this two recommendations you can incorporate in your next uh, role that you are playing. Moving on to the table topic master, Toastmaster Lokesh. So whenever I visit the Pimpri Toastmaster Club in a physical meeting room, when I look at the Toastmaster Rishikesh, the first and foremost word which is humor, is a little bit very difficult, you know. To be frank, we all are not so humorous. But when we look at the Toastmaster Rishikesh, the way he came to the stage and started with the humor that, you know, you have taken my one of the topic. So I have one topic less, but still I will manage. I have so many topics. And the energy which you have shown when you are on the stage, I found that you know the same energy level which Toastmaster, distinguished Toastmaster Minal has brought. Sometimes we feel that the tear body brings a lot of energy, and then that you know, energy goes down when table topic master takes over. But today I found that you brought that energy level again up. And all the topics were pretty relevant to the theme today's theme. Secondly, you explain the rule. What is the rule of the uh, every topic? What is the timing is allotted? And then you were throughout confident. Even you are confident to some extent. I found that when you were shaking your head, those must have my own. I found that he was just wondering what I'm going to get the topic. So it is really the humor and overall the way you are playing your character on the stage, kudos to you. Now, also you have called a regular member first because to set and contest and overall the, explain the rules of table topic. You have asked a member which is Toastmaster uh, Anish to come forward and then you have called the remaining guest. So, and third point which I like is you repeated the topic. Most of the time we miss on repeating the topic. Table topic, so and so, Toastmaster. Table topic, so and so, Toastmaster. So that is a great way. I do not have any recommendation to. I liked the energy and the way you have played role. Thank you. Now, moving on to the evaluators. Evaluator one, Toastmaster Shantan, who evaluated speaker one. Toastmaster Dinesh, who was playing, uh, who was giving today icebreaker speech. Being an icebreaker, it is recommended that not to give any recommendations. You followed that uh, protocol. You haven't given any recommendation. Kudos to you. You have given all the good recommendations to uh, 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 Toastmaster commendation to Toastmaster uh, Dinesh. I do not have any recommendation to you. Evaluated to Toastmaster Chandrasekhar and who has evaluated speaker to Toastmaster Manikanda. So you only use the CRC approach that is commendation, recommendation, and commendation. But the good part which I liked from your recommendation is you gave a recommendation about the body language, which he was talking like this. I do recommend. And even if I would have been evaluator, even I am a GM general evaluator, I was observing the scene. Which he can you know, overcome on that rather than you know, he can free your arm so that your body language will come into picture the way I'm speaking. Probably, if not possible, you can say like this, you can talk like this. So, you have covered that and you have explained with example how to play. 
If it is only recommendation, but you have to tell that how you should do that, how should how you should overcome that. Secondly, you talked about the vocal variety, which is a very critical recommendation. But then even for that, you have explained the example how that vocal variety can be placed. You can play that vocal variety by having some of the dialogues. So kudos to you, Toastmaster Chandrasekhar, on this and overall the conclusion, the takeaway to the audience. So great, great uh, job done by Toastmaster Chandrasekhar. Moving on to the third evaluator, Toastmaster Shiva, who has evaluated a speech from Toastmaster Jai Singh, who again used the CRC approach, commendation, recommendation, and commendation. So in that, your recommendation, the critical recommendation, I like your recommendation, you said, little punch in the beginning would have made it more effective. I like that, but I was just wondering what could have been that punch because if, when you are giving some recommendation, you have, you have to explain that. You could have started your speech by giving an example that, you know, this is the context or something like that. But if you can't explain and give a recommendation, how speaker will understand that what is that recommendation which he has to incorporate in his next speech. Now, secondly, you said that advice to audience. I have not understood what that advice is, but probably what I take from your recommendation, my take from your recommendation is probably it would be a takeaway or a conclusion from your speech. So you are concluding at certain point that this is how I give my message to the audience. So this is what I understand, but just for a clarity, you could have clear clarified your recommendation. Moving on to the evaluator three, Toastmaster Rishikesh, who has evaluated speaker before Toastmaster Prilesh. Who again use CRC approach that is commendation, recommendation, and commendation. So you use the quote in the beginning to explain the analogy that is fake it till you make it. So how it is, how fake it till you make it, because with your quote, you try to explain that this is how the speaker has related his title, and that is really nice way to start with your one of the quote in the any evaluation. Now Second uh, recommendation which you gave that is the camera or orientation. So only my recommendation on that is the camera orientation would have been how whether you are placed in the middle, it covers full, you are in the center, it should not cut your hairs or you know the forehead, it should not cut, so you should be in the center. So probably you can explain him because he will how he what he will understand, how he was visible to other people, and how what you have taken from the camera or orientation. Secondly, you talked about the speech length, number of words. So probably when we talked about the speech length, so now we know that this uh, speech was meant for five to seven uh, minutes. So if this five to seven minutes, then probably what is the length of the speech, number of words? Typically for six minutes, if you keep it in the middle, then I would suggest 600 words for six minutes. 600 words for 6 minutes so that you can close 6 and a half or worst case 7 based on the speed. So that you can you know, explain when you talk about the speech length, number of words. Now overall uh, it was a great meeting. I have certain general uh, observations which was about the room. It was really nicely, you know, the decorum was really good. <coughs> Forget about that, the wires and other stuff, but I like that the big uh, room has been uh, kept and the illumination level, which is fair enough in the room. Kudos to uh, uh, Toastmaster Shantanu, the VP Education from Toastmasters Club of Pune Northwest, and VP Education Toastmaster Pankaja from uh, Toastmasters Club of Pune, because they have put us so much efforts in the uh, background to bring two teams, two clubs together. And special thanks to Toastmaster uh, Shantanu who was collecting all the email IDs from the role players so that he can add them in the easy speed. So great job done by Postmaster Shantanu. Overall environment was really great. All role players were punctual. They were sticking to the time which was allocated to them. Uh, the discipline at the forum was really, uh, I like that because somebody was coming, saying they stopped that some people were coming, you know, they stopped and then they entered when speakers stopped. So it was really great. Now, the protocol of salutation, I felt that to some extent it got missed, which we use, uh, you know, saying that uh, presiding officer, Toastmaster of the day and fellow Toastmaster and guest, very good evening. 
why we miss product lead? That could be the reason because the moment role player was coming in, uh, he was shaking, he was, you know, the, the uh, uh, transfer was given back to the role player and he was shaking hand of uh, distinguished postmaster Miran and she was engaging her, him or her with a question. So probably the moment that pressure is something different because what question you will ask, my role player might feel that, you know, what he has to talk because first he is thinking about the question, shaking your hand and just thinking about the question. But yes, the protocol little to some extent I felt that it got missed. We can take care of that protocol in the next subsequent meeting. So thanks overall, it was a nice meeting and I have really enjoyed that. Thanks to uh, Toastmaster, uh, uh, Pimpin Toastmaster Club and the Toastmaster Club of Pune Northwest for a great show. So, <laughs> thank you. Evaluator Postmaster Venkatesh will definitely incorporate the suggestions that have been given by you. And yeah. now, as I said, that there's a surprise element coming in. I'll spill the surprise now before I ask the presiding officer to have his closing remarks. The surprise comes that we as Postmasters are going to celebrate our Independence Day this Monday, and the venue would be Simbasis College, Senapati Road. The timings would be 4.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. And there is something for each and everyone who attends in person. And let me tell you, even the non-Toastmasters are also eligible to attend this event. Everyone, the person who would be attending in person would be getting goodies. There would also be refreshments. Everything would be there. And the occasion would be that it's a PR event of District 125. Now let me ask a very simple question, a basic question, which I guess even uh, Nitesh will answer. The question is, who likes to get prizes? <laughs> <laughs> so, this event would actually apprise you of the prizes that would be available for you as Toastmasters when you reach certain levels. And for which level, which prize would be applicable? Everything would be unleashed on Monday. And that would be coming from the horse's mouth, means uh, for example the PR awards would be declared by the district PR manager, then the Hall of Fame awards would be coming from the district director, then there are club growth director awards, there are program quality director awards, and also at the club level you have various awards. I mean there are many things to explore and just to check which things you want to explore or which things would you like to set your eyes on for the next one year. To see that, you have to come there on Monday. And for that, we have the registration link. And the registration fees are be 50 because there are no free lunches anywhere. <coughs> so, I will uh, submit that in our joint meeting WhatsApp group. And accordingly, if, it's, uh, if someone is not a part of that group, uh, if they have come as guests, then you can get in touch with the president or other ex members and you can make them attend the event. You can also attend it. And you can get as many members as you want, provided everyone pays 50 rupees per day. <laughs> and this is a hybrid setup. I agree, you can register online as well. <coughs> Excuse me. But I would prefer that, I mean, I would advise that you go for in person registration. Because apart from knowing the awards, there will be many things. Who's who of District 125 you will get to network with. And if you want to grow as a Toastmasters, you need to know how vast is your district. What is the scope that you have to grow in your district? And here, let me tell you that everyone is cast in the same mold over here. It's not that someone is senior, so only that person has the privilege and all that. Not that. Everyone would be seated in the same auditorium, one who pays in person. So there the entry won't be decided based on your seniority as a Toastmaster. It will be only decided as to have you paid 50 rupees or not. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the only criteria. So you all are welcome. If you have not yet registered, please do so. I will be sharing the meeting here. Meeting link would come through very soon. And also the registration link, I'll, I'll just share it. <coughs> do it ASAP. The, let me repeat. Program is scheduled to happen from 4.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. 
and you also have a chance to get yourself photographed with the seniors there because I try not to be having this district one twenty five logo, and everyone would be also given national flag because it's fifteen dollars. So we are celebrating something, and the occasion is India at seventy five, and the name of our PR event is Pratishtha PR and Pratishtha like that. I mean, it's that set and all of that. So I would like to add to it. To get this uh, Pratishtha, go and uh, come for getting at least the Prachiti of it. That's what I, I can say. Prachiti, Pratishtha. You can add to many things as you want. So, this was the surprise element to attend. Each and every one of you is welcome. I will share the registration link with all. And to guess, you people can reach out. You can uh, pass on the link to them as well. They can also do it. And let me again tell you can come with your families. Not an issue at all. You can come with that. That is the thing. Now I would like to transfer the time. Before this, I, I guess we need to have the votings, right? For all. Yes. So we can have it the way Mr. Desh has suggested. So that can happen earlier. He he can explain how did we have the voting <laughs> this way. Yeah. Yeah. Closing eyes. Closing eyes and that. Yeah. So let's start. Huh? Yeah. I'm taking the online poll. Okay. And uh, Toastmaster Mayur is also launching the poll online. So those who are in the online poll can vote it, vote for their things. I mean, best speaker and all the way. So we have, I guess, five things. The best speaker, best evaluator, best table topic speaker, best role player and best auxiliary role player. Yes. So right now, let's start with the best speaker. So out of these three, you can take the voting of who would be voted for this. I will. Yeah. Sure. And then the stage is yours, and you can start. Okay. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. Handling a meeting, physical meeting, is not easy, and handling a joint physical meeting, it's not that much easy as well. It's easier said than done. Let's have a voting for the best speaker. Uh, I request uh, Mayur will take care of the online uh, people and we will take care of the offline people. Uh, so request everyone to please close their eyes and uh, uh, please raise your. I request everyone to please close their eyes. Yeah. Uh, please raise your hand. Those who want to vote for our first speaker, Toastmaster Dinesh. Okay. Uh, please raise your hand. Those who want to vote for our second speaker, Toastmaster Mani Prakash. Okay. Uh, please raise your hand. Those who want to vote for our third speaker, Toastmaster Jay. Okay. Thank you. Now we will have a, a voting for our evaluators. Uh, please raise your hand. Those who want to vote for our first evaluator, those must jump up. Okay. Uh, please raise your hand. Those who want to vote for our second evaluator, those must jump up. Okay. Uh, please raise your hand. Those who want to vote for our third evaluator, those must jump up. Please raise your hand. Those who want to vote for our fourth evaluator, Postmaster Rishikesh. Thank you. Now uh, we will have a voting for our table topic speaker. Uh, please, please once open your eyes. Let me once uh, see who are who were the table topic speaker. So our first speaker was Postmaster Anish. Uh, Anish, yes. So Postmaster Anish is here. Guest Ishan. <coughs> then Postmaster Mayur. Toastmaster Dinesh, Toastmaster that's Rohan. Rohan, uh, he was online. Okay, Rohan, this is he was. There is a misqualification. There are uh, Anish, Ishan, Mayur, and Dinesh. Uh, this we need to on the uh, last three are misqualified. Okay, okay, thanks. So we will have voting for only top four table topic speakers. Uh, so please now everyone request everyone to please close your eyes. Uh, please raise your hand. Those who want to vote for our first ever topic speaker, Toastmaster Anish. Okay. Yeah. 
प्लीज रेज योर हैंड दोस वांट टू वोट फॉर आवर सेकंड टेबल टॉपिक स्पीकर यस ईशा ओके प्लीज रेज योर हैंड दोस वांट टू वोट फॉर आवर थर्ड टेबल टॉपिक स्पीकर दोस मस्ट मो यू प्लीज रेज योर हैंड दोस वांट टू वोट फॉर आवर फोर्थ टेबल टॉपिक स्पीकर दोस मस्ट दिनेश थैंक यू now we will have a uh, voting for auxiliary role players uh, please raise your hand those who want to vote for our sergeant at arm those must be nisha okay please raise your hand those who want to vote for our timer those must be shrikesh okay please raise your hand those who want to vote for our language evaluator postmaster rohan okay please raise your hand those who want to vote for our counter postmaster gobind okay uh yeah that's it from uh, auxiliary role players now we'll have a voting for uh, main role players please raise your hand those who want to vote for our toast master of the day dtm winner okay please raise your hand those who want to vote for our table topic master toast master lokesh okay please raise your hand those who want to vote for our general evaluator toast master venkatesh thank you for helping me out in the voting and we will share the results soon um uh, so i request shantanu to please come forward and i will share the results with you yeah so it's time it's time for the glory for some of us the award for the place possibly role player goes to none other than our our founder toast master gobi the award for the best evaluator goes to lokmanya tiyak of today's meeting so thank you chandra sir thank you now 
it's time for the award of the best table topic speaker it goes to none other than those must anish Now it's a war for the main role player, and who knows his skill at her finger tips? None other than for those most of the day, DTM winner. Easier to have uh, remember the name of all the uh, historical uh, leaders, but to remember all the years of that event. All together different things. So, who does not need to be there? And the Oscar of all the awards, the award for the best speaker. You, he might have extended the chess game today, but he is also a marathon runner. Initially, we named him as a Milkasi of PTMC, but today he got another name as Mangal Pandey of PTMC. So, it's none other than Tosh Masamani Kanda.